If you look at the Constitution of the United States, there's something in there called freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, and freedom of association, essentially, and the right to petition. If you want to form a political party in this country, how do you do it? You get people to sign cards, right? You don't have an election to find out whether or not you're going to have a new party. You have some, a certain percentage of the voters have to sign cards, and you have a recognized political party. If you want to start up, if you want to be a contractor, and you want a corporation, how do you do it? Get a group of people together. They talk about forming a corporation, right? That's freedom of assembly and freedom of association. They sign a statement, essentially. They go to the Secretary of State's office, and they say they petition the Secretary of State to start a corporation, and they get their papers. But with the union, they want this election. And it sounds very American, very patriotic to say, well, we should have an election, free, you know, secret ballot election. Well, we do have elections, right? Everybody in this room has been involved in a union election, I bet. I don't know who you voted for. I don't know any organization that has more elections on a regular basis than unions do. We elect our officers. When you vote for somebody that's running for office, you vote for a person who's running for office. Is there anybody in this room that has ever voted to determine whether or not we're going to have a Congress, a state legislature, or a town government? You don't vote on that. That's assumed, right? You assume that. And that's what we're saying. We should assume the fact that workers should have an organization, because if you don't have an organization, you don't have any rights.